Welcome. Today I'll be unveiling my winter 2024 EDC. And yes, there is one unique surprise item that you need to stick around to see. I have posted a few flashlight reviews, but I'm introducing myself and giving you more context on how I approach EDC. EDC is a very individualized and must be customized based on your needs and desires. I look forward to learning more about your EDC, why you carry specific items, and learning a thing or two on this journey. Please join in the conversation in the comments. Together we can create the perfect EDC. Hi, my name is Chester. I work in IT and have a degree in electrical engineering, and I carry EDC to make my life easier, to be prepared for almost anything, and to protect my family, friends, and neighbors. My dad is a police officer, and I grew up learning how to prepare and protect and serve. I grew up in a large wooded lot with a creek and spent a lot of my childhood running around the woods, playing guns, climbing trees. I really enjoy the outdoors, fishing and hiking, and I live by the motto, leave it better than you found it. My kids are in high school and college. I travel a lot for work all over the world. I've been to every continent except for Antarctica and Australia. More on that in a bit. I've always carried some form of EDC, starting with a pocket knife. But about 15 years ago, my EDC life changed forever when my wife and I were walking in a local park and she found a pocket knife in the grass. I couldn't tell much about the knife initially because it was covered in mud. But when I got home and cleaned it up, I could feel that it was a very nice knife and it was made by a company called Kershaw that I'd never heard of. Up until this point, I'd only carried a small buck 110 or a cheap eater knife from Walmart, but this Kershaw was different. It was premium. After researching, I discovered it was a Kershaw Leak 1660, one of the most popular knives. So this is the knife here. Again, it's a, uh, a great knife. I really like carrying it, but over the years, I kind of found that it is a bit heavy. So I upgraded to the carbon fiber model, which is much lighter. It is made with CPM 154, made in America. It's a great knife, and I think it's a very unintimidating knife that I can carry around the office and not have to worry about anything. The other thing I really like about this knife is the sound that it makes when it opens. The Speed Safe has a really nice feel to it, and I really like this knife. The blade keeps a edge for a really long time. I would highly recommend this to, to anybody. I am an iPhone user, so I do carry a uh, personal and a work iPhone. I try not to carry my work iPhone outside of business hours or when I'm on call, but it does happen. All right, next is my trusty Olight Arcfell Pro. Um, I've had this light for a couple months and I really do love it. It has all the features that I need in a light. It has great runtime and it is uh, plenty bright for everything that I use a uh, light for. Next are my AirPod Pros. Uh, I use these daily to join conference calls, listen to podcasts and music at work and around the house. The noise cancellation is excellent, especially for how small they are. I carry a titanium pill bottle from Onife. I have a heart condition, uh, so I need to take my meds on a schedule. Uh, otherwise, it could be life-threatening. So I always have a backup as well in my backpack or in my sling bag or one in the car. Uh, I don't take any chances with this. Uh, as the saying goes, two is one and one is none. I am not fond of keys. I actually hate keys. So I like to have a car that has keyless entry so I can just keep the fob in my pocket. I do have a house key, but I keep that in my wallet. I also don't really like carrying a wallet around. I do usually carry this coach wallet that my wife gave me. It does store a lot of cards, money. And then I also do keep this rolling square AirTag tracker in there just in case I lose my wallet. This really saved my bacon recently. I was in Europe. I had checked out of the hotel. I was going to the cab. And luckily, I got the alert on my watch that I had left my wallet behind. And yep, when I went back in, I found my wallet laying on the floor in the hotel lobby. So that saved me a huge hassle by having that. It's very dry where I live. So I do carry this Burt's Bees chapstick. Probably say that I'm addicted to it, but I do keep that keep one just about everywhere. 
I do exercise my constitutional right to carry my nine millimeter friend. Currently, mine is a beautiful gunmetal. Next is my watch. I do wear an Apple Watch Ultra uh, when I'm at work or when I'm working out. But normally I do like to wear an automatic. Currently my favorite is this Hamilton Jazz Master Bumatic skeletonized watch with this great bracelet. I love watching this watch tick away. I can really appreciate all of the engineering and craftsmanship that had to go into making uh, basically this beautiful piece of art. I also carry a mini Zippo. Uh, I am a former smoker, but I never got out of the habit of not carrying my lighter. It comes in handy more often than you think, and I'm always prepared to build a fire in an emergency. I always carry a small notebook in my back pocket to keep any uh, to-dos or ideas that I have that I can write them down. I also carry a pin. Currently, I am carrying the Tactile Turn uh, Titanium Side Click. It is a, a great fidget toy, but uh, can really be annoying to others. And finally, my one strange and unique item is this Australian kangaroo one ounce silver coin. I've been carrying it for many years and it's got a great patina on it. I carry this to remember that gold and silver are real money. And I also carry specifically this Australian kangaroo to remind myself of my gold to go to every continent. Australia is next on the list. And this coin reminds me daily of what I'm working for. I do often swap things around depending on the season or what's there, but this has been my EDC for the last several months. It'll probably change up a little bit in the spring when I start wearing shorts and more of the stuff will probably be relegated to my sling bag. I also keep an EDC gear pouch and an IFAC uh, either in my backpack or in my sling bag. I'll have to show you what's in those in another video. Please let me know what unique items you EDC and if there is anything I need to include in my EDC in the comments below. If you'd like to watch my review of my Arcfeld Pro, please click the video here.